Great Britain had for a time conquered more than half of our world. In the past, the British had conquered 90% of the entire world because there were not a large number of countries divided like today. That is why Great Britain was called the kingdom where the sun never sets. That is, because the sun rises in another state when the night falls on a state they conquered. Great Britain has been led by various queens and kings over the centuries. Even today, Great Britain is one of the most important countries in the world. The Queen is the most important citizen of Great Britain, which is full of power and wealth. Queen Elizabeth II, or Elizabeth Alexandra Mary, was born on April 21, 1926, as the first daughter of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth. She served in the women's wing of the British Army during World War II. In 1948, she married Prince Philip. They have four children. Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales, is the eldest son. Although there are many debates about the Queen of England, anyone who looks into her past and present can recognize her as a unique character. Today, we bring to you 10 amazing facts about the great queen of this never-ending empire. Ten. She is the only citizen who can drive an unregistered vehicle in Britain without a driver's license. None of the cars in which the Queen of Great Britain travels have registration number plates. This was done as a respect for her rather than a measure taken to protect her. Prince Philip was very fond of driving Land Rovers. Because of this, it is said that the Queen loved to travel in Land Rover Defender cars without number plates. Also, she does not need a valid driver's license to drive a vehicle. It is mentioned as a special privilege given to her as an honor for her position. Once the Saudi King Abdullah bin Abdulaz is had come to visit the Queen when he was a Saudi prince. It is said that on this occasion, Queen Elizabeth took him on a tour of the city limits in her official car. It is also said that he was surprised by the Queen's action because Saudi women were not given driving licenses at that time. 9. She does not need a passport to go to any country. Queen Elizabeth has visited more than 115 countries so far. But she never had a passport. It is said that even if a president of any country has a passport, she still does not have a passport. As a special respect for her, the governments have given her permission to travel that way. According to some foreign websites, she has made 270 foreign trips without a passport. 8. The Queen receives about 70,000 letters a year. Do you usually get about one letter a day? Maybe you don't even get one letter in a week. But it is said that the Queen receives between 200 and 300 letters a day. Thus, it is reported that she receives about 70,000 letters every year. It is said that she reads a few selected articles every day. Also, several staff members have been appointed to answer the letters received. People from all over the world send letters to her. Some not only collect the reply letters with the Queen's seal as souvenirs, but also auction them. 7. The British Queen also has a love story. Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip have known each other since they were eight years old. Born the son of Prince Andrew, Prince of Greece and Denmark, and Princess Salis, Princess of Battenberg, Philip was six years older than Elizabeth. They are both grandsons of former Queen Victoria. That means that the prince and the princess had a close relationship. They first meet at the wedding of Princess Marina of Greece. Princess Elizabeth was then 8 years old. Prince Philip is 14 years old. Five years later, she accompanied her father, King George VI, on a tour of the Royal Naval College. At this time, she reunites with Prince Philip, who was a cadet. It is said that their love started with a letter given to her by Prince Philip during this meeting. 
Their love was limited to correspondence. Why did Prince Philip only see her twice or thrice a year when he came on holiday? However, she did something that no other British princess has ever done. In 1946, she was proposed for the first time. Even though the king's daughter could not make decisions of her own preference, she had expressed her wish for it, unknown to her parents. Later, when she told King George about the affair, he ordered her to wait until she was 21 to get married. 6. Queen's Handbag That Gives Signals Have you ever heard of the queen using her handbag to signal to her guards? She does not take part in any journey without her handbag. In addition to carrying the things she needs here, she also uses it to give various signals to her guards in a very wonderful way. According to foreign websites, if she leaves her handbag on a table while conversing with a group of people, then she has to leave the place within five minutes. Then the guards come to the place and take permission from the guests and make the necessary arrangements for it. If she put her handbag on ground, it means she is not interested in the conversation. It is also stated that the security guards will come there and falsely remind her of something and take her away from that place. Otherwise, it is said that she always keeps her handbag with her. 5. All the swans, dolphins and whales in England belong to her. This is something that is not usually seen in other countries with royal families. Now you might be wondering how she got such a right. Actually, this right is given to the King or Queen of Great Britain by a law enacted as far back in 1324. The amazing thing is that it is still as regular as it is. All swans from Great Britain and all dolphins and whales in its territorial waters belong to Queen Elizabeth. According to the law, no one has the right to do anything to any animal in the Syria without permission. 4. She was attacked twice. In 1981, Queen Elizabeth was attacked for the first time while riding a horse while greeting a parade outside Buckingham Palace. A 17-year-old man called Marker Sargent shot at her there. But her guards were able to save the Queen unharmed. It is said that this person was inspired by the murders of American President John F. Kennedy and famous singer John Lennon and tried to kill the Queen in order to become famous. Although he was imprisoned, he was released in 1984. Again in June 1982, a man named Mitchell Fennan entered the Queen's chamber blindfolded by the guards of the heavily guarded Buckingham Palace. It is said that he had come to it during a period of excrement. It is said that after seeing him, the Queen ran away from the room screaming. She has talked to him a lot after the security forces caught him. After this incident, security arrangements have been made so that even an aunt cannot enter her room again. 3. She has two birthdays. Now you may be wondering how this is going to happen. Queen Elizabeth's birthday is on April 21st. But the weather in England can be cold at this time, so the parade will not be held in honor of her birthday. Because of this, May's birthday is celebrated on the second Saturday of June every year. Since spring has arrived in England, the weather is very sunny. This tradition was not started by the Queen. This is a tradition that dates back to 1748. In the past, the birthdays of kings and queens were celebrated on a day when the weather was good. 2. The Queen's Wedding This ceremony was held on November 20, 1947 at 10.30 a.m. in Westminster, London. For that, almost 2,000 other guests, including royals including the princes and princesses of Luxembourg and the Netherlands, participated in the event. More than 200 million people around the world listened to those recorded programs through BBC Radio. 
This wedding dress is said to be a very beautiful dress. Precious pearls brought from America and a design made of hand tusks and designs made of gold and silver. She has received about 2,500 valuable gifts. It is also said that there was a cotton shawl sent by Mahatma Gandhi that he had designed himself. It is also said that she had eight second brides for her marriage. This is said to be the biggest wedding ceremony of the last millennium. 1. The total value of the British royal family is $88 billion. It is said that the British royal family has a total assets of $80 billion. She ranks wealth among the richest royals in the world. Since royalties are not bound to pay taxes, they are also exempt from tax burden. Since there are a large number of members of the royal family, this wealth has been divided among many people. It is also said that the queen has about 30 grandchildren. However, she is considered as one of the most important and powerful characters in the world. As the queen of the empire that never sets, she spread her rule over the world and is considered as a person who really needs to be protected.